previously on Roblet Blogs. The great thing about New York, especially Manhattan, is that you don't have to have a rental car. I mean, the only thing we needed an Uber for was really just to drop us off and to pick us up. Um, but everything else within, was in walking distance. So this all started with a conversation that I had with my wife. Uh, my wife is a photographer. If you know anybody who's a photographer, you know it's pretty common for them to have conversations about lighting, locations, scenery, all that kind of stuff. So we're watching an episode of Monk, and right there in the opening credits, there's a scene when Monk walks across the street. And my wife says, they use that scene in a lot of TV shows. And I hadn't really paid much attention, but the minute she says it, I almost think that I may have seen that same scene at the very ending of The Pursuit of Happiness when Will walks down the street with his son and Chris Gardner's passing him. But just trying to add something to the conversation, I said, you know, that looks like something that they probably would have filmed in San Francisco because it appears that Monk is walking at the top of a hill and I know San Francisco has a lot of hills. So again, we're just having a conversation about it. Now I'm kind of a nerdy person, so for whatever reason, when you give me bits of information like that, for some reason it gets stored here and you never know when it's gonna come out. So I'm thinking to myself, the next time I'm in San Francisco, I'm probably gonna try to find where they film the pursuit of happiness or where they filmed Monk, just to find this for my own kicks and giggles, right? I was pretty confident that I was gonna end up back in San Francisco again because I was an international speaker. I used to go all across the country and outside of the country teaching business and real estate related seminars. One of the guys that I met in my travels was a young guy by the name of Billy. Billy was awesome because Billy is a, a perfect example of being a product of the product. He's a guy who attended one of those real estate seminars and actually went ahead and applied it and dude was kicking butt. He was a young guy, which was awesome, who was actually doing that stuff. He, before you knew it, you looked up and he had hired his entire family to do real estate. And so he's kicking butt even to this day. In fact, Billy was kicking so much butt in real estate that the company I was doing teaching for asked Billy to come right along and do some teaching with me. So uh, Billy and I have flown all across the country together. We've been to casinos together. We've eaten at some crazy restaurants together. So it just so happens we're in San Francisco this week and it's Friday. Friday's the day when it's almost like a day off for our team. We have one session to do and the rest of the day is whatever it is we wanna do. So Billy's asking me at the end of the day, hey, what you gonna get into? And so me being a nerd, I'm thinking I'm gonna probably scare him away when I tell him what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm telling him, hey, I'm gonna track down this location where they filmed The Pursuit of Happiness. I've always wanted to see where it's filmed. That's what I'm gonna do. Surprisingly, I didn't scare Billy off. As a matter of fact, he said, cool, I'll roll with you. Keep in mind, it's not like I'm going to a restaurant. It's not like I'm going to a casino or someplace that actually has a physical address. I'm just going to an area, an area that I've never been and most people probably don't know exactly where it is. So I'm a little bit nervous about Billy coming along. I want him to come along because I want to have company, but I don't really know where I'm going, if that makes sense. So off we go on this wild goose chase. Once we hit the area, we immediately make note of the fact that we've got some serious hills to climb. Now, although the scenery is nice from up there, it doesn't take long before Billy and I realize we signed up for a real workout. I got my man Billy out here. Trekking We're going up this hill in San Francisco, <laughs> trying to look for this, this cross street that was in pursuit of happiness. If you can look behind us, you can see the streets, <laughs> San Francisco, and you can see the hill we're walking up. The architecture is crazy. Well, hopefully, it's up here. <laughs> is that Alcatraz right there? That is. Off in the distance, that probably is Alcatraz. I would like to go back, when we're done with this, we'll go back down to uh, the water that way. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go out and get some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real workout walking around a city block.
Ready? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Now the GPS says that we're close, but I didn't see anything that looked familiar until Billy wanted to stop and get some photos. And I don't want to call it a rest stop, but for lack of a better term, right off to the left, there was a place that had a beautiful view of the city. And so I just said, okay, awesome. So I walk over there to get some video footage. And as I look off in the distance, what do I see? It's the building from the movie. So now I'm excited because we actually are close. So what we're up here for is my buddy, Billy. What we're up here for in San Francisco if you've ever seen that movie, The Pursuit of Happiness, at the very closing scene, there's uh, Will Smith and Chris Gardner, and they're walking across the street. And the building that they're walking past, if you can look right down there, see that building? See that building with the circular windows? That building is right there in the background in the movie. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to what we're trying to do is we're trying to walk up to the spot where they walk across in the movie and have that building in the background. So we're not at the spot, but we're close, we're about two minutes from there. So finally we arrived. We're at the exact same spot in the movie. And so we wanted to walk across the exact same path that Will Smith and his son walked on in the movie. So Billy walks across the street and then I walk across the street and I know it looks silly, but you appreciate it a whole lot more when you see the movie. And after having done all that walking, we definitely wanted to get our photos for Facebook. So mission accomplished. So now it's time to celebrate. We both agree that we could use a beer after all of that walking. And we're pretty excited about the fact that we're walking downhill now instead of up. So we find a bar at the bottom of the hill. And while we're drinking, I'm going through my phone looking at some of the video footage from earlier in the day. And I realized that in one of the videos, I have my headset on in that video, but I don't have my headset now. And now I'm in a little bit of a panic because I realized I spent a little bit of money on that headset. And not only do I not have it, but that means I left that headset back at the top of the hill. And I know exactly where I left it. And I look over at Billy and I'm like, man, you're not gonna believe this. I left my headset all the way up at the top of that hill. So now I gotta walk all the way back up the hill just to get the headset. And I look over at Billy who's drinking a beer now and Billy's like, yeah, nah. <laughs> And I don't blame them. We just got our breath from walking up the hill the first time. So off I go back up the hill to get my headset. So I walked all the way up that hill to get that footage of where they filmed Pursuit of Happiness. Then we walked all the way down the hill. I got a drink of beer and then I realized I left my dog on headset trying to take a, a video of where this spot is. And so I said, now I gotta go walk all the way back up to where we were just to see if I can find this headset and hope nobody touched it. So I wanna say thank you to the good citizens of California because guess what? It's right where I left it. I walked all the way up here just to come back and get my headset. I looked in the video and I realized, hey, I was wearing a headset when we filmed that. And then I looked up and I said, I don't have my headset. I know where I left it. So thank you guys. Your reputation is saved. <laughs> I got my headset. Thank you. Now I gotta walk all the way back to meet Billy because he's getting another beer. I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I am. Walking up that hill is, is hard enough once, not to mention twice. So going down is a lot better. So signing off, Whew. I wonder if Will Smith had to do this. I'm sure he had someone drive him up this hill, crazy. So now I got my headset, I go back to the bar to get Billy, and finally we decide it's time to go get some real food, so we go off to the Fisherman's Wharf. Hey. Only a dog on bubbles out here. Somebody's got a bubble machine. We're down at Fisherman's Wharf. I'm trying to look for a seafood place to eat. I think I found the source of the dog on bubbles. It's way over there. Somewhere in this corner, a person making all these bubbles. wouldn't know it's a clown, right? Making all these bubbles. <laughs> Pandora, here's the deal. If you tap that banner, you'll get a free 30-day trial of Pandora Music with no ads. That means all your favorite stations with zero interruptions. At the end of your free trial, if you're digging ad-free music, sign up for just five bucks a month. 
half the price of other after music services. Tap now for your free trial. So we find a great place to eat, but it must have been one of those days where both of us are just misplacing our things because right after we left the restaurant, we get maybe a few blocks from the restaurant and Billy calls me and realizes that he left his backpack in the restaurant. And if you hadn't noticed, Billy's backpack is a Louis Vuitton backpack and it costs a little bit of money. So he immediately makes a U-turn and hopes for the best, hope that nobody took his backpack. Fortunately, he gets there, the waiter's got him covered, has his backpack. So neither one of us lost anything on the trip. So at the end of the day, our pursuit of the pursuit of happiness was successful. We found the exact same spot. And in case you're wondering whether or not this really is the exact same spot, from the movie, the next time you see that clip, pay attention to the windowsill. That windowsill is the exact same spot where I left my headset, followed by the bushes, followed by the small parking lot, and then finally followed by the two buildings that look like a church. Yeah. Planets are there? Um, seven. Seven? Nine. Um, who's the king of the jungle? Gorilla. The gorilla? A gorilla? No. Lion. Oh, yeah, lion, lion, lion. Hey, Dad, listen to this. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? Shelby. Shelby who? Shelby coming around the mountain when she comes. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody who? Nobody who? Oh. <laughs> No, that's funny. I like that one. On the next episode of Rob Led Blogs. I am in Hawaii on the island of Kona. The next episode is more of a message than it is a vlog. I filmed it in 2019 and when you watch it, it's almost as though I predicted the future for 2020. You've got to see this episode because people's mindset about jobs are totally different now.